Hi everyone, welcome back to another Maker Monday video. As promised last week, this week we're gonna be doing some spinning. We'll talk a little bit about spindles and then get into it. All right, so before we get started, um, I just wanna show you a couple different types of spindles and also explain what's happening when we are spinning, right? So how are we taking that fluff like we made our Rolex last week, how are we taking that and turning it into something useful? So the basic um, principle is just twisting. Okay, so when we take that fiber that's loose and we twist it, okay, and you can do this with a piece of uh, cotton ball from your bathroom just to test it out, right? Once we twist it, it gets nice and tight. So that's what we're trying to do when we're spinning. Now, ancient humans probably first did this without the use of any tools. So just the fiber and spinning it on their leg, right? But then they invented the spindle. And all the spindle really is is a piece of wood, typically. Could also be metal, um, but usually wood and then a whorl. And the whorl is a heavier piece, usually stone, um, pottery, metal, that weights, um, adds weight to the spindle. Uh, sometimes you'll see these um, chunkier and kind of smaller spindle with a chunkier whorl. Um, and this style was usually not for dropping like we'll do with the other spindles. This is a hand spindle or a support spindle. So sometimes it's just used by hand, and then sometimes it's supported, usually in a small tray, right? And the way that this adds twist is simply by popping against that fiber. And as it pops against it, you can see right there, it's adding twist, right? It's building up energy in this controlled section that we're pinching off. And then when we move our finger up, it'll jump up into the unspun fiber. Okay, now uh, another type of kind of hybrid. Um, this one is more similar in shape to that hand spindle. It's just got the point on the top, and that's still going to be what adds the twist. Um, but it also has a small groove here, and you would loop your yarn around and secure it in that groove so that you could suspend your spindle and this way the weight of gravity is going to help pull that um, thread that you're making nice and tight and long and help pull out any lumps and bumps right so it just kind of helps with making a nice um, clean neat yarn okay now the final type is our drop spindle our proper drop spindle we've got two different kinds here so this one got a little hook so instead of that point both of these have a hook right the only difference between these two is how they're weighted so this one the whorl is on the top this one the whorl is on the bottom and that hook is what you're going to hook your fiber onto and then twist okay now the other important um, innovation of the spindle is that you have somewhere to store your yarn right so you can as you make it you're going to wrap it around this spindle and that's going to be your storage area
All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next week. And if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, just leave those in the comments and we'll try and um, do what we can to make those happen. All right, see you next time.